20 and 20, and that is a blessing. Amen. Don't want to prolong the time, but there's a word from the Lord. Amen. Uh, it's in Luke chapter number 2. Amen. Luke chapter 2. I'm going to begin reading at verse number 8. The gospel according to St. Luke. Amen. Chapter number 2, beginning at verse number 8. It says, there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. Lo, the angel of the Lord came unto them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace, goodwill toward men. And it came to pass as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let us now go even unto Bethlehem and see this thing which, come, which is come to pass, which the Lord has made known unto us. Amen. 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 Verse 10 says, The angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy. Amen. Amen. I, I, I just want to bring you a message this morning. I got good news. Amen. If it, anybody been tuning in or listening to this ministry, amen, that God has given me for any period of time, you'll realize that I love to tell good news. Amen. And that's all I got to tell you this morning is good news. The angels said to the shepherds, Behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy. In other words, all they were telling the shepherds was that I got good news to tell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. We find ourselves around this time every year in what we like to call the Advent season. It's a time of expectancy. Amen. Of the, of the coming of Christ into this world. Amen. It had been reported, prophesied many years in advance that Christ, the Messiah, would enter into this world. Amen. But as the ending of what's recorded in the New Testament, at the end of the ministry of Malachi. There's a 400 year period of silence when it's traditionally said that there was no message from the Lord. Now I don't know about you my brothers and sisters but I have come to the place in my life where I need to hear a word from the Lord. And if I get to a place where I don't, I don't hear his voice, I feel like something is wrong. Right. Amen. I need to hear the Lord say something to me. Even if all he says is, my child, everything don't be all right. I need to hear the voice of God because, amen, the Bible says we are his sheep and he is our shepherd. And, and the sheep know his voice. Amen. I need to hear the Lord calling unto me sometimes. Amen. If I'm headed in the wrong direction, I need 
to, to hear the Lord's voice crying out saying, child, come in my direction. And when I hear his voice, I know I'm in the right path. Amen. But there was a moment of 400 years of silence. Amen. But there was, before that moment of silence, there was uh, God's messengers bringing a word from the Lord. You would hear Isaiah crying out. You would hear Ezekiel giving a word from the Lord. You would hear, amen, Jeremiah saying, thus said the Lord. I believe Noah, amen, was saying, thus said the Lord. Amen. All of the prophets, amen, they was talking about what thus said the Lord. They were giving the people the good news that came from God. Amen. I, I want you to understand some of my brothers and sisters. As long as you hear the good news, there is hope. Amen. As long as you hear hearing good news, amen, you can keep on keeping on because you know that when God says it, it got to come to pass. No matter how long it takes. You can trust in what my God said. Amen. I might get happy up in here. Amen. Knock some more, but that's all right because I know I have heard God say things to me. Amen. And it took, sometimes it took long, but sometimes it happened suddenly. But both times it came to pain. Amen. When I hear the word of God, I get excited. Amen. Especially when I'm hearing the good news. Amen. But they prophesied. Right. And they said to the people, <laughs> what thus said the Lord. They were obedient. They weren't false prophets. But they were saying what thus said the Lord. Amen. They were telling the people, behold, amen, one day the Savior is going to come into the world. Amen. Y'all better get ready because the Lord going to send a Savior. Amen. Into the world. Now that was bold back in them days. Amen. It, even for Isaiah to stand up and say, Amen. Behold, a virgin shall give birth. Amen. And he's going to be called the Savior of the world. Amen. Ain't that something for you, to, for me to stand up? If God gave me a message to tell the people the good news, amen, and tell somebody that a virgin was going to give birth, y'all would think I'm a fool. Amen. But if God gave it to me, I'm going to give it to you in obedience because I know God can do anything but fail. Amen, somebody. I ain't telling you, amen, in the gospel. I ain't telling you nothing too, too hard for God. If he said it in the word, I'm going to broadcast it. Amen. And tell the world what thus said the Lord. See, there's so many people out there broadcasting other stuff. But we ain't going to go down that road. Amen. We're we going to talk about the good news. Amen. The Bible says, after that 400 years of silence, amen, God said it's time. Oh, my God. See, my brother and sister, somebody been waiting on God to move in your situation. Somebody been studying the word, and you got faith in the word, but God just ain't brought it to pass yet. Amen. He ain't going to make you wait 400 years. Because he know you ain't got but three, four score and, and amen, ten, nine here in the earth. Amen. But three score and ten, amen, I don't want to mess it up. But 70 years, amen. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Amen. But God going to speak something in your life. And no matter how long it takes, God going to bring it to pass. Ain't the Lord all right. But after 400 years of silence, God said it's time. And what happened? God sent John the Baptist a, a voice crying in the wilderness. Amen. Prepare you the way of the Lord. Ain't the Lord all right? When God got silent, 
when it was time for him to move again, he started speaking the good news to the people. And y'all better wake up and open your ears. Amen. To hear what thus said the Lord. God said it's time. Amen. Prepare you the way of the Lord. We going somewhere with this. See, when the Bible was written and John the Baptist began to preach the good news of the coming of the Lord. Amen. He was talking about the first coming of the Lord. He was talking about the birth of Jesus into the world. But I'm telling you the good news today. Amen. That God got another coming. Jesus going to come again. The voice of one, John John the Baptist, crying in the wilderness. This wild world that we live in today. I'm telling you that Jesus coming into the world again. Riding in the clouds. And he going to be looking for the church without spot or no wrinkle. The Bible say the angels came to the shepherds. Telling them the good news. Amen. I want y'all to hear the message of the Lord. Hey man, let me slow down here for a minute. Whew. Thank you, Lord. Hey Amen. When I hear the good news of the Lord, I get excited. Hey Amen. Because I realize something better going to take place. Amen. It ain't going to be this way always. Jesus coming into my situation. And that's good news today. Hallelujah. See, in this sinful world. Amen. God say, you know what? I'm tired of y'all killing my sheep and my goats. Amen. And sacrificing my turtle doves and my oxen on the, ox, on the altar. Amen. I got something else I got to give you that'll take the place of all the sacrifices that ever been sacrificed. The Bible said, amen, the angels came to the shepherds. And mind you, didn't nobody want to be bothered with the shepherds. They were considered the lowest in society. Amen, somebody. But the good news is the angels showed up to the shepherds with good news. And that's what I like about Jesus. He don't leave nobody out. He ain't just telling the rich folk the good news. But he got good news for some of us broke folk today. That Jesus can make a way out of no way. He ain't just telling the, the well folks the good news. But he telling some of us sick folk that the Lord is a healer. And that is good news today. Hallelujah, somebody. But they told the shepherds. Amen. That was keeping over their flock by night. Amen. The angel said, I got good news of great joy. In the city of David is born a Savior. And here's the sign that you will know he's the one. He'll be born in a stable. He'll be in a manger. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. He'll be in swaddling clothes. And when uh, too many babies born in no manger, born in no stable, but God was speaking a message to the people. This ain't just a baby, but this is a lamb. Did you hear my voice coming through John the Baptist? Behold the lamb of God. He ain't just a child, but he is the perfect sacrifice. Hallelujah, somebody. For the sins of the whole world. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I got good news to tell you. Yeah. Amen. We talk, we talk about this, this story every Sunday. And I tell my minister friends. Yeah. Amen. And those that are trained in the ministry. I tell them, if you're going to preach any message, make sure you tell the people the good news. Yeah. Which is Jesus coming to this world. Him dying on the cross for your sins and mine. Shedding his precious blood. Hung on the old rugged cross. He died on the cross. They buried him in the tomb. But early one Sunday morning, he got up with all power in his hand. That's the good news today. I don't have to be lost in my sins. I 
can be saved because Jesus died for me and rose with all power in his hand. Hallelujah, somebody. I don't have to make my bed in hell because he rose with all power in his hand. And he's coming back one day. And the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead is the same spirit that can raise us also. Ain't the Lord all right? That's good news today. Hallelujah, somebody. Somebody got too much bad news. But I ain't got nothing but good news today. Amen. Some people still. Let me tell you something. Because I'm about to leave this thing alone. Amen. There's Jewish folk that don't even believe Jesus done came into the world yet. Amen. They done heard the good news. But they don't believe the good news. And that's the same way today. Many people are hearing the good news about the, come, the second coming of Jesus Christ and they run around here don't even believe ain't even getting their business fixed ain't even getting ready for the second coming of the Lord but the same way John the Baptist said prepare ye the way of the Lord I'm telling you today my brothers and sisters prepare ye the way of the coming of the Lord you better be ready when he comes because when he comes, he's going to take all his children back to heaven with him. Hallelujah. I don't want to miss that train. I don't want to miss that ship. I don't want to miss that day. If I'm in my grave, I'm going to raise up first. For the dead in Christ is going to raise up first. That's good news today. But if I'm still here, amen, we're going to get caught up. We're going to be chained in a moment in the twinkling of an eye. That's good news today. Hallelujah. We'll go to a place where the wicked will cease from troubling. Hallelujah. Where the, amen, the weary will be at rest. I don't know about you today, but I want to rest from my labor. Hallelujah. I want to hear him say, well done. Thy good and faithful servant. You've been faithful over a few things. Hallelujah. They said to the shepherds, Fear not, for I bring you good news today. I got news for you today. Fear not the lies that the enemy told you, that you're going to be sick all your life. Because good news is Jesus is a healer. Stop listening to the lies that you're going through this situation and this bad situation all the rest of your life. You better listen to the good news that God can change, rearrange, and make everything new. Hallelujah, that's good news today. Stop listening to the lies that trouble going to be in your life always. Hallelujah. And listen to the good news of the Lord. Where it says this too will pass. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Trouble don't last always. Yes. That's good news today. Yes. You better start believing what the good news say. Yes. Just like the shepherds. Yes. See when people hear bad news. Yes. Amen. They'll get to go running. The sin was everything with all the commotion all about it. Yes. Amen. I don't know if y'all remember, but back when I was a little boy, Grandma over here, Siren, yes. passed by the house, said, come on, children, get in the car. We got to go see what's going on. They'll follow the ambulance. They'll follow the fire truck to see what's going on. Now that's nosy. That's going, that's seeing what all the commotion is all about. Hallelujah. But I ain't following no fire. 
you, Lord. I'm expecting good things to happen because I got the good news of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And I'm expecting these things to come to pass. God don't talk just to be talking. He don't tell lies to be popular. Spread gospel on, on gossip on other people to make you like it. He tell the gospel, the good news, the truth. Hallelujah. And what he says will come to pass. He going to make it happen today. That's good news. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What I what I thought, hey amen. The way my heart set up and my faith set up with my God, it's going to happen today in my life. Amen. Hallelujah. And if it don't happen today, and he wake me up tomorrow, the way my faith set up, it's going to happen today. Because I know one day, it's going to be today. Thank you, Lord. I'm anticipating these miracles. I'm anticipating, amen, of these breakthroughs. I'm anticipating God to make known, to make manifest his word in my life. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Good news. Hallelujah. Good news. Thank you, Lord. Good news. I got news to take. Ain't that good news? Hallelujah. If you ain't heard no other news today, you heard some good news. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Your situation going to turn around today. That's good news. God has all power. All power. And he can do anything. That's good news. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. That's good news. I was uh I was sitting. And you know how you sit idle sometimes. There's an old saying, the idle mind is the devil's playground. Mm -hmm. And as I was sitting idle, I was thinking about some things that the Lord had brought me through. And I thought about some of my shortcomings. See? Hey Amen. And sometimes the shortcomings are haunt you. Yes. But that's what I like about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. That when he forgives you, well, Amen. He washed it away from you. Yeah. And he set your feet on solid rock. Uh -huh. And he gave you a new direction. Yes. Amen. I began to dwell on bad news. Say it, say it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And my spirit yeah. started to bring me down. Uh -huh. But then I read in the word. Oh, where the Bible said the flesh uh -huh. is weak. But the spirit is strong. And I had to start dwelling on some good news about what the Lord said to me. He said, child, I know all about you. Amen. But I don't forgave you and wash your sins as far as the east is from the west. Now you get up from here and you run on and see what the end is going to be. And the day I can smile, hallelujah, because it took some good news to let me know everything ain't going to be all right. Hallelujah. Somebody out there dwelling on the bad news from the enemy. Don't dwell on that bad news. Amen. You listen to the good news of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Everything going to be all right. Yes. Worship him and praise him. Yes. Honor him and glorify him. Yes. Look to him because that's where your help comes from. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Trust him. Yes. And he's going to make everything all right. Yes. Good news. Good news. <laughs> yes. 
Amen. We pray that the Lord has uplifted your spirits. Amen. Gave you some motivation today. Yes, yes, yes. Strengthen your faith. Faith come by hearing. Yes. And hearing from the good news, good news of the word of God. Thank you, Lord. God yes. bless each and every one of you. Mm. And we pray God will smile upon you and your whole family during this Advent season. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. God bless you. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Lord.